Hi everyone. How is everyone going? Um, okay, so I'm going to show you how to use uh, these particular printables, the Rose Grunge, Asian Grunge printables. And I've printed them out half page. Where is that? Oh, there we go. Um, so I've printed out two on, on, on each A4 um, page. I printed out this actually. Now I use an inkjet printer and I'm just going to show you. These are printed on just normal everyday, you know, print. And then I, I decided I should probably print it on high quality just to see if there is really any difference. And to be quite honest with you, it's slightly darker, but really the print is really good. So I'm making a small book. Um, I've chosen two of them and I've printed them out. Uh, and I've got just a piece of uh, nice cardboard, thin cardboard. It could be um, cardboard you have kicking around or it just could be um, cornflakes box, you know, something like that. It's, it's not a very strong, it's not like really, really thick. It's going to turn out like, uh, like this one here. This one here, yeah, or these little flip ones, except this is a larger version. So it's a bit of a, a sketch diary or um, journaling, whatever. So this is going to be my front and that is going to be that one there is going to be my front and this one is going to be my back. So I just love the rose yeah, color of these. So what we're going to do is we are going to print them out. As I said, I've printed them out on that. And that's how I'm leaving that alone. So what I need to measure is um, how wide this is and it's 26 centimeters. So I'm going 25.5 just so that, you know, um, I get that to wrap around nicely when I glue it down. So I've marked out 25.5 on there on both sides, measured it there and there. And I wish I could find my, um, my metal ruler because it would be, you know, so much more beneficial. In fact, I might use that. It might be Stanley knife might be easier today. And I just want you to cut that down like so. Hmm. Pause. Okay, so, and then, um, so this piece is going to go on here. So this way I would like it to be, this is the cover we're making. It's very quick. So maybe 175, 17.5. So maybe there. And we'll measure the other side. There. And join the dots. Line them up nicely. And while we're here, cut it down. Okay, and that's that. That is the cover. Now, first thing we have to do is actually fold it in half. You need to make that bend. If you have a bone fold, bone folded um, implement, other than that, just use anything and push it down, just so that it's got a bend. I actually do it both ways. Just you know, to make sure. Put this. In, my um, other one died. <laughs> okay, now we're just going to get rid of that because we're not doing any more cutting. And so this is going to go onto here. So I'm just going to use glue 
I'm going to use Yuhu because um, I was going to use PVA, but I thought Yuhu is probably easier for this. It's not that thick. And also it's on my table, so you know, good co good coat of the old Yuhu. This one is just about done, I think. Goodness, okay. Right. Making sure that all of the edges are well covered and the edges, uh, the spine and everything. And this is just a, a flip one. It's not, doesn't have a, a spine. It's very, very simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to line this up with the middle of the page where I folded it before like so making sure that is well secured like that I'm going to cut the corners on this now if you didn't want if you were bothered about the white um, at all you could actually make it a touch smaller and then the white would not show but I don't really have a problem with the inside of the book because I am going to cover pretty much I'm thinking all of it actually oh no you won't see the white at all take that back <laughs> yeah, I made a smaller one but I haven't made this size so there you go this is the first time I've made it this size I thought I'd show you first this is meant to be a quick video I'm, I'm trying to make it quick hmm so all sides down and as I said phone folder or anything else that you can run along to put pressure on it Then choose. Next thing is you need to choose. There's four pieces of paper. Choose the um, oh, I love it. Okay. Um, choose the inside and which pieces you would like to go on the inside. Um, I might. And you're just going to cut them down that little bit more so that they just fit perfectly. So we've cut them down to be a perfect fit for the front and the back and added glue to all the edges, especially to the edges. And then I'm going to just glue that down, press that down nice and wonderful. Okay. Now, I would let this dry. Um, for as long as it needs maybe probably I'd leave it for about half an hour but um, while I'm doing that I will actually get the embellishments and things that I'm going to put onto this and organize the um, sig signatures that I'm, I'm going to work with so I'll just get that paper and I'll be back 
Okay, so I'm just popped back. So I kind of made a template for while that's drying. Um, I made a template for it. So that's about the size of the page I want to put in there. So I'm going to um, now there's various ways okay various ways of, of actually doing this you could use um, this is um, just a roll of paper that I've got which is um, drafting paper that I use and you but you could also in my smaller ones I've actually used watercolor paper and you could cut fold you know in half and make that if you would especially if you're doing watercolors or doing something in your little journal that you're taking away with you when whatever that is when we can go away or maybe you just want to go down the beach and sketch whatever so you could have you could have a combination actually you could make you know um, a, a signature full of you know um, writing um, and then you could make a few with you know your for your sketching or you could make it all out of this depends what you've got in the cupboard really don't have to go you could make it just out of um, copy paper too so yeah so I'm just gonna cut out probably um, just a couple of things I'm gonna make a couple of signatures and then I will come back with those made and then we will put the book together with the embellishments all right so I'm just adding a couple more final bits and these are really rough uh, I'm because they're um, I'm just gonna make one signature you can add more pages obviously along the way or oh, someone's decided that they're mulching in the background there so now this paper that I've got here which is the watercolor paper um, it is Too, what, too long too long yeah so I'm just going to get this gorgeous edge by ripping that off there and this way is a little bit wide too but I might actually um, I might take it back this way quite like that should be rough I think Now the other ones I might have to cut because they're, they're a little bit thin but I can just do that after I put it together. All right so I'm just going to show you um, this. So I've got all the pages. Now some of my pages are hard, not quite. See how they're they're not um I just decided not, not all the way up the page but I just decided I might as well utilize everything so we have a piece of beautiful silk um and I'm just going to tie it now we could go around twice actually That would be actually that would be really good. I didn't realize that was actually quite that long. So what we might do is we'll start there, allowing enough to tie off, and go around twice because that means you could add another signature into that cord. Am I in camera? I always do that. I forgot to check that I'm in camera. And then we're just going to tie. So it's all. I am going to tie a knot though, not a bow, at this point. And then I am going to add, I'm going to add um, some bits to this, some embellishments, and I will just get them out now. But um, there is my that's how it's starting to look uh, and I am going to put a closure on this too so I will show you how to do that 
and I will get the couple of little embellishments that I want to put onto this particular um, little book and I have as you've seen I, I have also if I wanted to add other things in here example you know if I wanted to add pictures of something to inspire me or or whatever along the way that is how that is done and I will cut off also these bits at the side so I'm going to mark those down with a pencil and then I'm going to get my steel ruler which I cannot find still because I don't know who's borrowed it and I'm actually going to because it's still too wide even though I ripped it so and it's a matter of one page at a time don't don't try and do more than one page hand just has to stay there quite oops quite firmly though until all of that is done like so and you take that out and look beautiful just perfect all right I will come back and I will show you uh, how I'm going to put a closure on to this a uh, quick closure and a couple of the embellishments that I'm actually going to put on okay so I'm back um, and I, I was going to do um, an eyelet just on either end of the cardboard and punch it in with my um, cropper dial but I thought not everyone has one of these machines you know I just bought it because it was something that I felt that I would use um, quite a lot of but not everyone as I say has that so I'm going to do it the way that I started off doing it many moons ago and um, not that and I know you can get other ways of putting these eyelets on um, so yes but this I bought these um, I love these there's a there's a little little door handly kind of thing as I call them in fact in, in some of my journals I've actually used them as door handles but they are quite high um, yeah anyway um, there's one on this little flip book up the top here this is a flip book that I use for um, all of my embellishments that I've created it's just to, it's like a reminder book that I've made um, so this time I'm going to use a rubber and just a sharp little pin could be a darning needle could be anything really it just needs to push through the cardboard the cardboard is not that thick anyway and then this gets threaded through it and then the pins these pins flip back out again to hold it in place you can put glue underneath it if you wish to um, that's completely up to you so if we were going to put this on the front the front is 17.5 um, centimeters across so halving that or rounding it everything up sort of eight eight um, sixteen seventeen eight and yeah okay eight and a half and a bit yeah so I want it probably about there um, using the rubber to remove the, the wrong mark <laughs> about there in the middle and now I put the rubber underneath because you know and then I just press down this has got a sharp end so where that hole was I just press down and go around and around and around a bit and then I come from the other side and press down, take the rubber off and just, you know, make that hole a little bit bigger. Going both ways is what I normally do. 
Now this particular little um, instrument that I'm using is a jewellery file. <laughs> Not everyone's going to have one of those lying around. So there's a number of jewellery artists that I actually have that lying around. So um, I can actually sand off those bits that come up. But they're not really going to be that much of an issue. So you pull the pin and you push it down and then you spread the pin again. Butterfly it out again like so. Now as I said you could glue that but it is quite secure enough for for what we for what we want which is the closure um, now I'm just going to put a bit of ribbon probably on there on the back through there and then I'm going to use that that little hook in there as the closure so that it can be tied down so the same process on this side, except I'm going to put one of these eyelets on with my little machine, maybe. <laughs> All right, you can zoom past this bit. I mean, I don't really probably need to show you how to do this. I'm sure you all know. So you've got it's got a back and a a front uh, these all of these components were bought on um, my favorite shop aliexpress um, and waited for for three months or, or more uh, so again eight point five in the middle there and so it's going to be probably a little bit further in though I think we're going to put a, a decent mark there because I'm going to get rid of that bit then with my crocodile we are going to punch a big hole are we going to punch a big hole or a little hole I think we might go a little hole I'm not too sure um, and there's this little measure, so maybe only a quarter of a. Oh, no, a bit more. Sorry, I have to learn how to do this. What did I just do? I don't know what I did. I've locked it in place or done something. Ah, there we go. Okay, now back to that. Yes, now I can see that the, the um, the, now I can't actually see. What is going on? Oh, I know. I forgot to remove the last piece of paper. Huh. So you should be able to see through the hole. There's like a hole down in there where you can actually see where you're meant to be punching. There. So it's a perfect hole. And then up the top, I believe you put, this is going to be fun because I haven't actually, um, you put the base on, let's just see, oh, okay, there's the different sizes. All right, leave this with me for a second, make this. Right, so I've got it set for the right one this time. <laughs> that took a bit, didn't it? Yeah, sorry about that. And then we're going to go underneath and through the hole. Okay, so there's a little lovely. Then we are going to thread this through here. I feel like I'm going to sort of halve them and then look these are just scrap pieces of ribbon um, I'm not using anything that's um, special or in any way now you could just maybe have that piece of ribbon to close it and just 
do that. That would actually work. Or you could do the way that I was thinking was actually to use to do both of them, but maybe not. Maybe you don't really need both of them. Maybe just one would be enough threading through and tying. Yes. All right. So I put the Egyptian eye on there and I probably will put some beads or something um, else on it. But it's finished. It's for the purpose of showing you how to, how I used um, one of my new Rose Asian grunge printables. It's um, in this beautiful little book that I can now um, sketch in or draw in. Um, I could also, with pages, put um, oh, pockets in or belly, belly, what are they called? Belly bands, you know, where you put a band of colour going down one of the pages um, just for added... Um, added interest on the page with one of the jelly plates to match it all in. You could put um, pieces along the top on each page. You could do anything. You could make it, a, you know, a gift, whatever. Um, okay, thanks very much for watching and um, I will... I, I like this. I like this, but um, it's probably a lot easier than the um, other one that I was thinking. <laughs> um, please leave your comments down below where I've written. Um, I will write the, I'll leave the information on, on the little AliExpress, um, what, I don't even know, doorknob, door handle, little baby door handles, don't really know what they are. And okay, um, I, you have a great day and take care of yourself and <clears throat> I will see you soon. Bye.